Hey, everybody. Are you ready for some more defensive action? Welcome to the Electric Coaches channel. We have the uh, defense of my Pittsburgh Steelers matched up against my offense of the uh, Baltimore Ravens. So we uh, have uh, Justin Forsett deep back. I'm going to run him. We're still, we're still testing to see how well the defense can stop the run. So we're going to run four set and let's see how it goes. It's a decent hole. Let's see how the linebackers pick this up. Good stick. That's the right inside linebacker making the tackle. What caught my eye about this defensive play was this right inside linebacker here. I was impressed with how well he read the A-gap right here coming from his position to pursue Justin Forsett, the deep back. Let's watch this play. And you see how he's right there in that gap ready to make a play on the ball. I was impressed with that. It was a good defensive effort, good defensive effort. We're going to run another play, and I want to observe this right inside linebacker again. I want to see if we can get him to pursue the hole that's going to open here in this A-gap over here. I also made some other adjustments to my left inside linebacker and my left outside linebacker. I moved the left inside linebacker more over top this A gap. And this right, this left, this left outside linebacker more to this B gap. See, in the last play, I had him set directly over top of the uh, left defensive end. So we're going to move him here, and that's going to give him more access to this B-gap. And I also spaced out this safety. See, initially, the, the last play, I had him more inside, closer to the hash mark. So we moved him over here, and I have Troy Palomalu set right here to pick up the tight end. So we're going to run this play. And see how it goes. Justin Forsett is the deep back. Looks good. Looks good. The in, that right inside linebacker looks like he's trying to fill the hole. And the full back for Justin Forsett is going to meet him on the block. Again, in this play. The right-hand side linebacker here was in a position to make a play on the ball. But the fullback had chipped him inside the number one hole right here, thus deflecting the movement of this inside linebacker from making a tackle on Justin Forsett, our deep setback. Let's watch this play develop. Now you see the fullback right here, and you see the linebacker. Here's a fullback. Here's a linebacker right there. The linebacker is poised to make a play on the ball. But also, I want you to look at, let me bring it back a little bit, just a touch. This is our outside linebacker, James Harrison, right here. He's also positioned to make a play on the ball. But the left guard here chips James Harrison's James Harrison, the linebacker, using that left elbow. There's the chip right there. There's James Harrison right there. Let's bring it back a little bit. And I want you to watch the block from the fullback also. 
That little chip right there is what took the linebacker out of the play. But all in all, I'm still pleased with what this uh this particular uh play had given me from this uh defense. We're still in a 3-4 cover 2 defense. But this time I moved my left defensive end over inside the B gap right here. I want to I want to give him a clean release to see how well he pursues the running back. And I have my left outside linebacker moved over top of the tackle. Left inside linebacker is playing this A gap. And this right inside linebacker, I want to keep him right here over top of this over top of this left guard. I like his pursuit across this zone here. And our outside linebacker is set up a little outside the right defensive end. So let's run this play and see how it looks. Justin Forsett is the deep back. Okay, the defensive end didn't pursue the backfield well. Justin Forsett has the two hole. Let's see how he takes it. Cuts back, and the nose tackle makes a tackle. Okay, I like that. I like that. Not bad, not bad. I wanted to test the penetration of this left defensive end right here by setting him inside this B gap right here. His penetration was very good, but he didn't, I didn't put enough turn on the dial so that he could make a play on the ball for Justin Forsett. Now, with his current settings, he has a beeline straight to the quarterback. So if this were a pass rush, Joe Flacco would be forced to get rid of the ball very soon. Let's watch this play some more. Now, if you watch the nose tackle, he holds his ground very well, and as a result, he's a, in a good position to make the tackle on this play, just as Justin Forsett cuts back to the inside, as you see here. Let's rewind it some more a little bit right here. I want you to watch this cut back also because you have the left outside and left inside linebacker pursuing this zone right here. And the Justin Forsett figure cuts back to the inside. See the cut back right there? And the nose tackle right in here is poised to make a tackle. Along with that, the James Harrison figure outside linebacker here is in a position to make a play should the Justin Forsett figure escape. But the play is stopped. I want to run this formation again. I have the left defensive end shooting this B gap right here. And I have the left outside linebacker over top of the right tackle. And I have this left inside linebacker. He's shooting this A gap. Now, the basis on this left defensive end and this left inside linebacker, I turned the dial a little bit more to the right. I like this pursuit in the last uh, frame that you have seen. So I want to, you know, fine-tune his pursuit in this particular play. And, of course, this inside linebacker, this right inside linebacker, I like his pursuit from his position he goes here, and he travels across this way. So everything in this path, he can potentially make contact with the ball carrier. So let's go ahead and run this play, and let's see what we get. Justin Forsett is the deep back. 
Okay. Defensive end penetrated the backfield. For set. And the nose tackle was there to make the stop. Although the defensive end didn't make the tackle, I still like this pursuit. I like my linebacker's pursuit coming from that left side. And the right side is doing a very good job as well. Not bad, not bad. I set up my left defensive end one more time in this B gap. I was still testing his pursuit. I also adjusted his base to turn a little bit more when he arrives to the backfield. Let's watch this play develop. And you see right here, see that left defensive end is closer now to the Justin Forsett figure, which proves that this base can, can be adjusted on the fly during game time. The tackle was made by the nose tackle in this play. I'm going to pause it here. Here's a nose tackle, and Justin Forsett is there. And if you look closely, you'll see the James Harrison right outside linebacker figure is poised to make a play should Justin Forsett come into his gap. And going further, I want you to look at this left outside linebacker and this left inside linebacker. They are doing their jobs as well controlling their gaps of responsibility. So overall, I'm impressed with this linebacker core of this uh, Steeler defense. And the tackle was right here, made by the uh, nose tackle. If you remember the last talent scout video with the uh, Bengals defense, this right guard for the Ravens was dominating the left defensive tackle for that Bengals defense. So to test this inside linebacker here, this left inside linebacker, I moved him up to a defensive tackle position as well as the right defensive tackle. I moved both of these guys up and I moved the nose tackle back to middle linebacker. I want to test them to see how well they perform when positioned over top of a guard. Also, I'm going to test the nose tackle to see how well he can fill either a gap from his position back here. So let's run this play and see how it turns out. Justin Forsett, deep setback. Okay. That, ins that left inside linebacker did his job. Didn't stop for a set though, but let's see what happens. Nose tackle was picked up by the fullback. The offensive line of this Ravens offense is highly competitive. And as a result of that, I was compelled to test the inside left linebacker and the inside right linebacker against the guards of this offensive line. This right guard of this Ravens offensive line does an excellent job of uh, protecting his running back from being tackled in this play. Let's watch this play develop. I'm going to pause it right there. You see how the right guard keeps the front of the base of the defender away from the away from the Justin Forsett figure. Although you have Steeler defenders playing their gaps of responsibility, the Justin Forsett figure has access to this two-hole right here. Let's put it on pause. See the fullback blocking the nose tackle here? That's the second block that was put on that nose tackle in this play. 
let's rewind it a slight bit. Right there. You see how the center is chipping the nose tackle with his elbow? And then the full back is going to finish the block here, springing Justin Forsett free. Awesome play. Awesome play. But overall, I still like what this Steelers defense is showing me so far. I want to run this defense one more time with these Steelers. This right guard is doing a superb job of keeping this left inside linebacker or left defensive tackle from getting to Justin Forsett. So I want to run him again and run this test to see if that was a fluke. We also want to look at our middle linebacker as well. Justin Forsett, deep setback. There it is again. That guard is keeping the front of the base of that linebacker from making contact with Justin Forsett. But watch the nose tackle. Let's, let's see how he picks up this block from the fullback. See if he can shed this block. He misses the tackle. From the last play, we saw that this 4-3 defensive front for the Steelers didn't do a very good job at stopping the Justin Forsett figure from running downfield. But I set it up anyway again to make sure it wasn't a fluke. So again, I'm still watching this inside linebacker here who is playing at a defensive tackle position against this right guard. So let's run this play and watch it develop. Justin Forsett, I'm going to pause it right here. You see it happen again. The right guard has blocked this left inside linebacker, keeping the front of his base from making contact to Justin Forsett figure. And the center missed this blocking assignment on a nose tackle, but it didn't have any effect on Justin Forsett escaping down the middle of the field. Let's put a pause right here. Here's a nose tackle missing the tackle. And there's Justin Forsett figure. Forsett's up the field and he goes the distance, but he's uh, chipped by his tight end. So all in all, I like what I saw with this uh, Steelers defense. I had a lot of fun playing with this defense, testing them out and drilling them. Um... So far, this defense and my Eagles defense are showing me much promise. I see a lot of prospects within both of those defenses that I, that I can transfer to my San Francisco 49ers. I still have other teams I want to look at to scout for talent. With these safeties, although I didn't talk about them in this video, I did like how they pursued. I, I did like how they performed in this, uh, in this defense. So I'm going to go through this defense and my Eagles defense and see what bases I can take. But I'm not going to totally dismantle this team or any team to build my 49ers. I'm only going to use a couple of bases here, a few bases there to make a team. And I may tweak some other bases. So for right now, that's all I have for this uh, defensive team. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Mo. Thanks for watching.